friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. <laughs> Happy Friday, it is Friday friends and when you're seeing this video, I am currently in San Diego, California, not only visiting my best friend, doing a little mini meetup with some of my subscribers and I'm doing a 5K hot chocolate run on Sunday. I will absolutely run for hot chocolate. So I am on a little getaway trip this weekend that was much needed after a pretty stressful last few weeks with my, with Lola, with Diesel. If you saw the Diesel update in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, he also is having some challenges as he's continuing to age. So I will link that What I Eat in a Day video for you in case you missed it. A little bit of news on Diesel, updates on Lola, it's just been a stressful few weeks, so I am living my best life in San Diego. Speaking of San Diego, just a reminder that there will not be a video on Sunday, nor will there be a meal prep on Monday because I'm out of town, but I will be back with a What I Eat in a Day this next Wednesday. So I will link the Wednesdays What I Eat in a Day where I talked about diesel as well as nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. All of my favorite things and of course my Facebook group, come and join us. I'll put all of that down in the description box for you. So let's go ahead and jump into how my week was, my way in, and of course, this week's WW workshop topic. I hope you had a fantastic week. Overall, I had a really good week. It was a short week. I had to weigh in a little bit early this week because I did head to San Diego Thursday afternoon. So I actually weighed in today, Thursday, rather than Friday when you're seeing today's video. And like I said, it's been pretty stressful as you know with my dogs, but I'm really proud of myself for not only staying on track with my food and really making that a priority because I have some goals, as you know, before I go to, for plastic surgery in May, I have some goals to kind of lean down and make sure my body is in the best shape that it can be before embarking on my plastic surgery journey, which is the next step in my healthy lifestyle, my weight loss journey. And with that, it means getting in my workouts as well, being consistent with those, I have been super consistent as always with my workouts and I have been super sore. The back of my thighs are so sore. I did hip thrusts and Bulgarian split squats on Sunday and today, Thursday, I am still sore from those. It has been a very challenging week when it comes to being sore. I'm really grateful that I thought I had a little bit knowing that I'm sore pretty regularly from my workout and you know that we use our Bob and Brad massage gun all the time. Well, I found out that Bob and Brad actually has a, another massage product that Troy and I have been loving. We've actually both been using this regularly. For me, this has been a staple this week with how sore I've been, and that is the Bob and Brad back massager with heat. This is actually a cordless shiatsu massager for both the back, the neck, and the shoulders. It has 3D kneading massage pillow for muscle pain relief. Men, women can use it. It makes a great relaxation gift and it is super, super affordable. I absolutely love that this is cordless. You can take it anywhere with you. This is a professional back and neck massager. It's about four inches longer than ordinary massage pillows. So it has a really great ergonomic design that perfectly molds to the neck and back to provide the most comfortable massage experience. You can use it everywhere. Take it from me. I've been using it on my legs, including your lower and upper back, shoulders, neck, calves, thighs, feet, arms, and even your waist. There's an adjustable strap so that you can actually affix the massager to your chair for optimal comfort. Like I said, I love that it's cordless. It can go anywhere with you and it runs on a powerful rechargeable battery. So you don't have to worry about tangled wires. It has a deep needing 3D massage nodes with bio-directional movement. If you don't know who Brad and Bob are, they are on YouTube. They have a fantastic channel. I'll actually link their channel down below for you. I have their massage gun. I love it. We use it 
all the time. And then as soon as I saw that they had this massager, I knew that I had to have it. And what I love about the high quality back massager is the price. The price is so incredibly affordable and they were nice enough to offer a discount for you guys. So I will link everything down below for you. You can actually buy this right off of Amazon and there's a special discount. So that'll all be in the description box, but I'm telling you, Bob and Brad have saved my life this week. It has been excellent to just give myself an at home massage and we know how expensive massages are. So if you can do it at home anytime you want. It's definitely a game changer. And when your husband loves it as much as you do, it's proof that this Bob and Brad back massager is 10 out of 10. We have been loving it. And like I said, it has saved me from all the soreness this week. Because I've been consistently using this massager, the soreness has definitely went down, which is great because I'm actually planning a big hike while I'm in San Diego with my subscribers that we're meeting up, that I'm meeting up with. And then of course that 5K. So I need my body to be in tip top shape. I also made the decision not to track my food while I'm in San Diego. I'm just going to enjoy my trip, obviously not go off the rails, but I'm not going to worry about tracking my food. I'm still going to be very mindful about getting in my protein because I know how important that is to fuel my body. And then of course, help me recover after the activities, after all the activity that I'll be doing while on my trip. I am not filming my trip to San Diego. However, I will be sharing lots of updates, both on my Instagram and my Facebook group. So if you're not part of those. I'll put them up here for you. Definitely follow me there for a little bit more kind of day-to-day -day life. Before we jump into my weigh-in prior to my vacation, and then we'll see what happens with my weigh-in next week, let's chat about this week's WW workshop topic, and that is how to break through a weight plateau. I get asked all the time about this. How do I get over being in a plateau? So today we're going to chat about it. The scale doesn't budge for weeks and weeks and weeks. This is known as a plateau. Now, if your scale doesn't budge for a few days, even a week or two weeks, that's not necessarily a plateau. It's when you stay exactly the same weight for an extended period of time. You may just need to shift your focus a little bit to get those numbers moving again. So WW has some tips for us. Number one, list out what you can't control or change other than the scale. A lingering cold that's zapping your energy, all the times you didn't track this last week, or what you ate and drank this last weekend. And then number two, list things that you can control that will help support your journey. I can track consistently, move more, be easier on myself, and celebrate my non-scale victories. And number three, choose one, then plan how you'll make it happen. I'll set a reminder to track my meals after dinner every night. I love that they mention NSVs or non-scale victories because that is where my heart is. I, like you know, don't care about the scale, but all the NSVs, they really bring me joy in that. That's what motivates me and propels me through my weight loss journey. NSVs are amazing. So definitely focus on those, especially when the scale's not budging. Plateaus are going to happen to everyone, especially if you're in a severe deficit. If you're not eating enough, you're going to be hitting a plateau rather quickly in your weight loss journey, and it's very hard to break that plateau. So it's important to make sure, number one, that you're eating enough to try to avoid or limit the time that you are in a weight loss plateau. You can get frustrated and discouraged and sometimes give up on your weight loss journey altogether. So what can help is focusing your energy away from that number. Again, focus on those NSVs. Focus on how your clothes are fitting, how your body's feeling. Are you, is it easier for you to move around more? Can you climb stairs without getting out of breath? These are the things that you need to focus on when the scale's not paying, when the scale is not your friend. This doesn't mean you have to overhaul everything. You just want to make a few tweaks. Number one, please make sure that you're eating enough. If you strictly follow Weight Watchers, eat all of your points and all of your weeklies. And if you're active, you probably need to eat your exercise points as well. And really the only way to know if you're truly eating enough for your body is to have your macros and calories done. So you know exactly what caloric goal you're shooting for and what macros, protein, fats, and carbs you need every day for success. You know, I'm a weight loss and nutrition coach and I do offer this service on my website. I will link personalized macros and calories down below for you. Invest in yourself. You will not be sorry. And it can prevent you from being in a plateau altogether. And it can definitely break that plateau. I have never hit a plateau in my weight loss journey, especially since focusing on making sure that I'm eating enough for sustainable, healthy weight loss. I also want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, a plateau is when you don't lose weight for a few weeks in a row, not a week or two, but a few weeks. Number two, changes in eating or activity habits are two of the most common causes of a plateau. And number three, sometimes the reason for a plateau isn't absolutely 
clear. I will tell you the number one reason my clients go into a plateau or come to me in a plateau is because they're not eating enough. And again, that is what I recommend eating your calories, getting in enough protein, choosing the right foods is essential for maybe avoiding a plateau altogether, but is required for breaking for breaking a plateau and getting back into weight loss mode. And while you're in a plateau, focus on things that have nothing to do with the scale. All those amazing NSVs, that's what you should be focusing on. So I actually really like this topic. I think it's important to talk about a plateau and why we get into a plateau in the first place and what we can focus on instead of the scale. You know the scale is not importante to me. I prefer NSVs and just how I'm feeling overall versus the scale. Speaking of the scale, let's hop into my pre-vacation weigh-in. So last week I actually gained a little bit. I think it was 0.4, so really nothing. Basically, I consider that to be a maintenance. And this week I really focused on hitting my protein goal every day, moving my body, and because I was pretty sore this week, the scale did a lot of moving around. I was up, I was down, I was up, I was down. That's very common. When we're sore, it's because we have broken down our muscles. And when our muscles are broken down, which we want to do, that's how they rebuild and grow, they are inflamed and they retain fluid, which can show up as a gain on the scale. Remember, the scale only measures mass. It doesn't know the difference between fat, muscle, fluid. It just measures the overall mass. But when I stepped on the scale this morning before I head to the airport a little bit later today, I'm actually down point six. So I lost the little bit that I gained last week, plus a little bit more. And that is great news for me because I feel like I'm pretty close to where I want to be maintenance wise with my weight. So I do like to see whether or not this is the way, this is where my body is happy, or if I am able to shed a little bit more, get a little bit leaner before I head for plastic surgery in May. So I want you to see that the scale doesn't matter. It is more important how your body looks, how you feel, how much lean muscle you have, how healthy you are. Those are the things that really matter, not the scale. Well, and of course, all the NSVs, those definitely matter. So now I want to hear from you guys. Did you gain? Did you lose? How was your week? What do you think of weight loss plateaus? And if you have any tips or tricks on how you've broken through a weight loss plateau, definitely leave that down in the comments for us. We would love to hear it. Don't forget that I will link the Bob and Brad back and neck massager down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, join my Facebook group. That's how you can keep up with me on my trip to San Diego and a little bit more day to day. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'd love to have you here and turn your bell on so you never miss a video. I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul and then I'll see you back next Wednesday for what I eat in a day. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.